Hi guys, I'm Darren Arbour, PGA Professional. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the workshop. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking you through how to remove a shaft from a club head. So this one has got a bit missing. Whether that be through anger or play, I suggest it, I probably suggest it might have been through anger because the other part didn't come back with the club head. So how would you take this shaft off step by step i will in another video talk you through the whole process of shaft removal and step by step putting a new shaft back in but for today's video it's just removing this golf shaft which is something fairly straightforward to do and something that you possibly could do so the first thing that we need to do is ferrule under the hot water tap we need to get that ferrule moved down that shaft because what we don't want to do is get any heat on that ferrule because it's still it's still in good nick. It's still it's been fit to this golf club, so it's going to provide a better fit than if you were putting on a new ferrule. You would have to do some work to sort that ferrule out. So by utilising the existing ferrule, it saves a little bit of time, saves a little bit of money, and you know it is seated in better so get underneath there for a few minutes that's quite warm now we get it in the vise put it in there just tighten it in the vise around it And as you can see, it's come away from the hustle of the golf club. That is what you want to see. That will allow the ferrule to be further enough, far enough away from the heat so it won't melt. So we are going to be using the heat gun with, and there might be some glue that, that's going to be flying about. So safety first. Always wear your safety glasses if you know if you're doing any work in the workshop that would be that anything could fly out and the, anything could fly out of the the thing all glue things like that will pop out I've had it in the past done it plenty of times so Nice and patient with it. Keep testing it to see if it's gonna pop off. And with a little bit of heat, it will fall away. That is really hot now, so best thing to do, get yourself some gloves. Now is take the, the club head and put it off to one side to cool down. The same is with the shaft. Take that out, cool that down as well. So I'll take them off. Not the most glamorous things in the world, but just keep your eyesight better. So we set them on one side now to cool down. So 
that's the, the process to take off the club head. As I say, we've got the equipment at the golf club to make things easier. The, the shaft pull is, is an absolute fantastic piece of equipment, especially with graphites. Graphites are really good with it. You're now left with the ferrule on the shaft and you've got to take this off. So what we suggest you do is get all the little bits of glue off that might be still on there and then put it into the vise. Tighten it up. So there you have it, one ferrule off the sh broken shaft without any problems. We can now utilize this on the new shaft with the old club. This thing, what you can do, just put it in the bin because that's where it needs to go. So so a fairly common repair that we carry out in the pro shop, whether that be through wrapping it around a tree or breaking it in anger, it's something very simple that we can carry out. So if you are a subscriber to the channel, thank you very much for the support. You do not underestimate how much I appreciate you helping me grow my channel and the community that I've developed. If you are not a subscriber, maybe even consider hitting that subscription button below. I bring you weekly content to help you with your game, whether that be club repairs, golf reviews or swing tips. Whether it be this one here, which is how to make your golf grips bigger. Or this one here, which is how to hit your irons that little bit better by utilising only a peg. Thank you very much for watching and I really look forward to welcoming you on my future videos.